Coming to the stage has changed my life. The news. Exciting news about a group of our teens and a young shining star. Mark Wyatt is taking us inside the NBA, and it's time to roll up our sleeves and hit the streets. I have all the details next. Our out the box teens are part of the Youth Health Service Corps, where they learn about health issues in the community, leadership, and how to create a service learning project. Their end of the year award ceremony and reception will be on June 16th at the University of Bridgeport. We are very proud of our teens for all of their efforts in this program, and they're going to be honored with presidential and special recognition awards and a reception, including food and fun activities. You're invited to join the celebration of our teens and other high school students who care enough about their community to be a part of the solution. 200 people, including students, parents, friends, and faculty, will be in attendance. There is a need for volunteers to assist with providing food, beverages, paper products, setup and breakdown, and with serving. Our in-house program coordinator, Marcella Lawson, is coordinating the effort. Please see Marcella if you'd like to volunteer. That event date again is Thursday, June 16th. The program starts at 6 p.m. So, which one of these coming to the SAGE superstars recently won a local talent show? It's this young man, Adarius George. On May 14th, nine-year-old Adarius was a contestant in the A Star is Born talent show. The event was presented by the organization Diamonds in the Rough, Finding the Spirit in Me. Adarius showcased his gift of mime to abundantly by Jay Moss as he competed with six other youngsters in the eight to 12 age group. The competition was tough, but after a tiebreaker, he won first place. Just imagine how he felt. When I heard I won, I was like, Ah, like a yay feeling. It's kind of like creepy and sometimes happy. You know, like how you have that nervous feeling before you go on stage, like, yeah, like, yuck. This is the trophy that I came in first place, a diamond. I have to bring it back next year, and I have to pass it to the next first place winner. And this necklace, it's a casual diamond and a rough, a star is born, presented 2011 winner. I feel amazing, whoopa. I feel happy, excited, tell all my friends at school. And some of the people, they start to really like spread my name up. Adarius George's name will certainly be heard by many because as the first place winner, he has a full lineup of events and TV appearances scheduled for several months ahead. He and his very proud mom, Carolyn George, thank dance ministry member Ashley Service for helping Adarius prepare for the show. We are also very proud of him. Congratulations, Adarius. Keep shining. More opportunities are available to our youth. A summer youth job fair is planned for June 14th. It's open to ages 16 to 24. It'll be at Housatonic Community College right here in Bridgeport. 30 or more employers will be on site to discuss work opportunities, so come prepared. That date again is Tuesday, June 14th from 3 to 6 p.m. The event is sponsored by Career Resources, Inc., The Workplace, Inc., the Connecticut Department of Labor, and the City of Bridgeport. Johns Hopkins University is offering an engineering innovation program for high school students. Students will engage in hands-on activities in engineering and science. The program is an all-expense paid program for students who can establish financial need. It'll be held on the University of Baltimore campus July 5th through July 29th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. each day. 24 spaces are available. The contact for this program is Professor Cecilia Brown. You can call her at 410-837-5004 or email C right Brown at ubalt.edu for more details about the program and to apply. Save the date, everyone, and get your team ready to claim a block. New Vision is preparing for this year's Community Cleanup Day. It'll be on Saturday, July 23rd. We'll have more details in the coming weeks. 
The presentation staff is currently looking for dedicated individuals who have an interest in learning about graphics and presentation software like Easy Worship, Keynotes for Mac, Photoshop, Fireworks, Google Docs, and much more. If you have a knack for graphics and a background in technology, please see Marcus Sicknine Robinson or Elisa Edwards in the sound booth before or after service. The Higher Ground Ministry is a Christ-centered support group for anyone who is struggling with addiction, has been delivered from addiction, or who has been affected by addictions of loved ones. Support group meetings are held right here at New Vision every Tuesday night from 6 to 7.20 p.m. You're welcome to attend and to spread the word to others who can benefit. If you have any questions, please see Elder Mac Allen. NVIM News is looking forward to featuring New Vision members who are part of the class of 2011. Up until the end of June, you can send an email to nvimnews at yahoo.com letting us know where you graduated from and where you're going next. You can also include any special awards or recognition you received and be sure to provide a photo. That email address again is nvimnews at yahoo.com. If you have any questions, you can see me or send an email to nvimnews. We're used to hearing him talk NFL football, but this time, Mark Wyatt's coming to us with the latest on the NBA Finals. It's all up next on our Sports Spectacular. Stay tuned for sports. Good afternoon, sports fans. I'm Mark Wyatt, and you're watching the NBIM Sports Spectacular. Well, folks, the first two games of the NBA Finals between the Miami Heat and the Dallas Mavericks are in the books. So let's talk basketball, shall we? First up, game one at American Airlines Arena in Miami, Florida, where the Heat's big three of James, Wade, and Bosch square off against the Mavs led by Dirk Nowinski and Jason Kidd. Both teams shot poorly as James and Bosch carried the load for the Heat, and although Nowinski and Marion struggled, they carried the load for the Mavs, who led by one point at the half. At the beginning of the third quarter, the Mavs jumped out to an eight-point lead. However, D. Wade would join the party. Couple that with some hot shooting from LeBron James, and that would spell destruction for the Dallas Mavericks. James shot nine of 16 from the field, and most importantly, four of five from behind the arc, which opened the lane for him and Wade to get to the rim. James finished with 24 points and nine boards, while Wade added 22 points, 10 boards, and six assists as the Heat take game one. Final score, Heat 92, Mavs 84. Moving right along to game two, also in Miami, and once again, the Heat dominated for most of the game. While Nowinski struggled with a torn tendon on his non-shooting hand, D. Wade would play the hero, hitting a backbreaker three-pointer, giving the Heat a 15-point lead with just six minutes, 30 seconds left in the game. However, the pounding of their chests in celebration in front of the Mavs bench would be just the inspiration the Mavs needed. The Mavs assaulted the Heat with stifling defense, causing multiple turnovers, while outscoring the Heat 22-5 down the stretch. And Dirk Nowinski took the game-winning layup over Chris Bosh with his injured hand, and the Mavs tied up the series at one apiece. Final score, Mavs 95, Heat 93. With the next three games on their home court in Dallas, the Mavs will hope to wrap it up. Can they pull it off? We'll just have to wait and see. But until next time, I'm Mark Wyatt for NBIM Sports. Now back to you, Star. Thank you, Mark, for taking us inside games one and two. Of course, everyone, there's more to come. All men will be meeting today. Gentlemen, please plan to remain in the sanctuary after service. You can see Elder John Wilkinson with any questions. That's our news for now. We hope you join us for worship services throughout the week on Tuesday nights at 7.30 p.m., Friday nights at 8 p.m., and Sunday mornings at 9.30 a.m. I'm Starlet Coleman for NBIM News, where we deliver proof of kingdom building. The word must be our proof. It's content in whatever state it finds itself. I'd rather walk like a blind man listening to the words of the Lord. When you got Jesus. Whenever God initiates something, God will make it come to pass. If I walked according to what we see, new vision would not be. On the planet in that night, thank you, Jesus. Uh, but this is what he said. Uh, that's why we worship. That's why we praise. But thank you for saving me.
where we hear over proof of kingdom building. Who can declare all his praise? Shut your mouth, kingdom, come. Just one more check. This praise, I go 